All right, so we got one more hour of Skyrim here on the stream. Thank you, everyone who's chilling with me. People who liked the stream, thank you. Thank you to everyone who supported the stream in various ways. It's been a great stream so far. DC asks, any chance that I would actually have Jasper turn into a vampire? Now, isn't it true that in one of the DLCs, there's a whole vampire plot line, and it actually benefits you to become a vampire at that point, I think? But I don't know if I would do it now. Maybe later on. Come to Dragon's Reach to... It there. seems this damnable conflict has what have you got everyone's for sale? passions of late. So, you wish to master the arcane arts? Okay, let's see what he has for sale, right? Scrolls. He has Firestorm, Hysteria, and Mayhem. Dude, they're super expensive. Fuck. He also knows a bunch of spell tomes. Let's see here. A bound battle axe. So, instead of the sword, a battle axe. I wonder if it's better than the sword. Let's see. Anything I want here? Conjure a familiar. I mean, right now I have Conjure the Ghost. But I wonder if the familiar is better than the ghost. Ooh, Flame Atronach. Maybe I should do that. Well, I already have... Oh, shit. I already have Zombie. But I don't know if the zombies are any good. I haven't tried it yet, right? Yes, your boy Lem says you, when you when you play Dawnguard DLC, you either get crossbowed up or become a vampy boy. <laughs> Oh, so the battle axe is two-handed, which I haven't used any two-handed weapons yet. Okay. And... I think I'll buy Flame Atronach. I don't have it. <clears throat> so I think I'll buy that. <clears throat> My speech increased. Oh, man. Wait, fast healing? Is it better than what I'm using? Maybe I should buy fast healing. If it's better. Darcy X says the cost kind of determines how good they are and what level. I think I'm going to get fast healing. Yeah. Okay. Healing hands. Isn't this what you use to heal if you have a companion? I think you have a separate spell. Heals 15 points, but not undead Atronox or Machine. Right. So if I had a companion, this is how you heal your companion. All right, I guess I'm going to buy that, too. Yeah. There we go. Oh, uh, damn. He has a ton of spells, huh? Wow. All right, that's what I'll go with. Buy the Necronomicon and have a guy with a chainsaw come chasing after you, says Battle Duck. Uh, that's, that's another DLC. <laughs> Your boy Lem says, I like Ice Atronach better. Sadly, he doesn't have that. Yeah, he doesn't have that. Okay. <clears throat> you know, if you've got the aptitude. So let's go ahead and learn these right now, right? Flame Atronach. Fast healing. Healing hands. These I can sell because I already learned these. See? Yeah. <laughs> I already learned these. Hmm. Hold on one second, everyone.
So you guys won't believe it. Actual undead raised in my house. I was casting the spell in the game. And apparently it raised the undead in my house. There were three zombies downstairs. I had to fight them and kill them. All right, I'm kidding. No, my wife came home from work early. <laughs> I heard noise downstairs. I'm like, what is all that? What is this noise? Someone breaking it into my house? Like, no, my wife came home early. So, okay. Now we can continue. <laughs> Scared me. You know, when you hear there's noise in your house, you're supposed to be alone. I'm like, uh, what is that? All right, so anyway, everything's okay. All right. <clears throat> so welcome. Yes, yeah, so I'm back, everybody. Sorry about that. No problem. <laughs> Okay, uh, so we did. I cost all those. Now what I need to do is I need to favorite some of those, right? Let's look. So restoration. Let's get rid of healing and do fast healing. Oh, I understand. This is 15 per second. This is just boom. Get 75 fucking uh, health. See that? So we'll do that. For now, I'll get rid of a lesser ward. Um, flame At Atronach, Undying... Wait a minute. Oh, because the Undying Ghost summons, uses all your Magicka. And summons an Undying Ghost for 60 seconds. The extra are equal to twice the amount of Magicka consumed. While the Flame Atronach... Alright, I'll try the Flame Atronach. It sounds like it's going to be better than the Undying Ghost. Right? We'll try that. Start using that, maybe. <clears throat> um, what was the other one that I got? I think it was just healing hands, right? Okay, I'm really thinking four, so I got that selected now. See, I'm not using these. Okay. So I'll start using Flame Atronach. Oh. And... Right now I'm using the bow, and the sword's one hand. I don't know, do you think I should get the battle axe? Like, it's two-handed. I'm doing all right with the sword that's one-handed. I don't know if I want to go two-handed, conjuring that battle axe or not. Maybe I'll just go with the one-handed sword, since I'm doing good with it. Do I plan on playing any new Pokemon games? I will be playing uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus when it comes out later this month. Yes. That's the one I'm playing. I skipped Pokemon Diamond and Pearl remakes because I knew that Arceus was coming out. And I was like, dude, if I play them, I'm not going to want to then play Arceus back to back. Like, that's too much Pokemon. So. Okay. So now we'll head back to what we were doing, right? We were over here. We had done, yeah, the Ancient Descent, Bone Chill Passage, Blood of Throne. So let's go back to Bone Chill Passage and keep heading to westward. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, let's continue on here. Okay. Oh, let's see here. DZ says, do you pursue yourself using a bound battle axe even though it's two-handed? See, I don't know. I don't know if I should or not. What do you guys think? I mean, I, we could try it, but... I like the I, the bow I'm liking more and more as I'm leveling up my archery skill. And <clears throat> and the one-handed sword's been really good so far, so maybe I don't need to bother with the two-handed. I don't know. Guts of Sibu looks like it's going to be a good game, but won't be as good as Sleeping Dogs because it's cartoony. Uh, I don't know if the graphical style will really determine how good the game is. I guess we'll see. I don't think that Sifu is supposed to be like, like Sleeping Dogs. I don't know if it's, just, it's mostly combat. Dude, this, this fucking horse can go anywhere. It's ridiculous in this game, right? You can go straight up walls with this horse. <laughs> uh, Reflection is like your favorite candlelight. It's good for lighting up dark environments. Actually, you're right. Some of these caves and shit I've been in, I can't see anything. Maybe it would make sense to do that. Um, It's showing... What is that tree supposed to be? Can I go up here? Oh, the horse is glitching. Here we go. Go straight up. Go up, I say. Get up there. Ah! I'm glitching into the mountain. I'm glitching into the mountain. I can't see. Oh, this is bad. Oh, shit. What the fuck? 
Wait, now where am I? What? Okay, great. I see they fixed that. Uh, right. What's this tree icon? Son of a bitch. Everything looked fine. It looked like everything was going well. And then, uh, disaster. <laughs> the shortest way isn't always the best way, says Dorsey. <laughs> oh, man. I should quick save. DZ says, I played the Dongar DLC once. I thought being a vampire was cool. I think vampires get some interesting abilities, right? That are unique. <clears throat> but aren't there detriments, too? Like, don't, if you're a vampire, don't certain people try to kill you and shit? I'm trying to remember. Why do I have two waypoints? What the f... What on earth? Wait a minute. Okay, that's where I'm headed. But there's, it's showing two waypoints. I don't get it. Oh, wait, look! Whoa, there's one way out here. Wait a minute. Da! Ah, unselect Dragonborn. I didn't want to do that. Okay, that makes more sense. Baldux says, oh, I didn't know you had Suicide King's plan for today. Yeah. <laughs> See? I like to hit you with those surprises on stream. When you're least expecting it. Content. Wow. Well, Phil, I thought you were just going to dress up in a Pikachu hat and act like an asshole today. Nope, here's some content. Bam! Surprising content. Shocking content. Ancestor's Glade. Oh, look at this. Alright. Let's see what Ancestor's Glade is. Oh, hold on. So, fast healing? That's gonna be way better. Yeah. What am I going up against here? Whoa. It's very nature-y. What's that noise? Did you hear that? Oh, no! A spring and earth mother! Oh, brother. Okay, hold on. She killed him with one fucking hit. Oh my god. She killed the flame Atronach with one hit. Alright. Things are getting serious. <laughs> Ready? Why is this not working? Where's my 
melee match or not? Wah! What did he even hit me with? <laughs> okay. More than one? Cool. Now I'm upset. Things are not going so well right now. is I can't hurt it. Like, I legitimately can't hurt it. I can get it down. The, f the, the fire of the Atronach hurts it, but I can't hurt it. Nothing I'm doing is hurting it at all. You notice that? The sword, nothing. So I need the Atronach to do all the damage. Izzy Axel did a super chat and says, why did the NWO fail in WWE in 2002? Uh, because it sucked. In reality, it's because they kept getting hurt. I remember Nash kept pulling his fucking, uh, his leg and fucking it up bad, his knee. So he couldn't wrestle more than, like, twice. He kept getting hurt. And, uh, oh, look, my internet is going crazy. My internet is going nuts. Hold on. My internet is going crazy right now, guys. Yeah, I don't know what's going on is fluctuating crazy right now. Yeah. I don't know if you guys can still see me or not. Yeah, my internet is going nuts. It's like up, down, up, down, all around. It's crazy. I don't know what's happening. My internet is crapping out. Badly. 
Yeah, real bad. And I don't know if it's a YouTube side issue or if it's my internet. I have no idea. It looks like it's my internet, though. What is going on? I have no clue. Huh. I don't know if my internet crapped out or not. That was weird. It almost looks like my internet had a forced reset. <clears throat> is it coming back now for you guys? Is the stream coming back now? As it says now, it looks like it's coming back. <laughs> it works now? Everyone, if you refresh, it should work now. Yeah, I have no idea what happened. It showed my internet. It looked like my internet dropped and then came right back. And I don't know if it was that plug getting loose in my bedroom, which it could be, or it could just be my internet actually had issues there for a second. But it looks like it's working again now. Yeah. Now it seems fine again. It could be that stupid loose plug in the other room. It really could be. So it seems like the only thing I can do to hurt these things is the flame atronach, right? So I need to use Flame Atronach and maybe Fast Healing in my right hand. And just keep healing and casting the Atronach over and over. Because the sword doesn't do shit. The sword doesn't hurt it. Yeah. <clears throat> so that's what we'll try to do. Let's try this strategy now. Just using the Atronach and keep resummoning the Atronach. And keep healing. And I should quick save. Okay. Okay. Why, why am I taking damage? What happened? It never even... Dude, it never even attacked me. What the fuck was that? I never got attacked. And I lost all my health. <laughs> That's incredibly stupid. Nothing attacked me. Ugh. Dumb. Again, nothing's hitting me. This is so dumb that I'm taking damage. It didn't, nothing even attacked me. It's so dumb. It's hitting me from, from a million miles away. That doesn't even make sense. It's so dumb. Stop attacking me Why is it running away? I need you to help me. Why is the flame Atronach running away? What the fuck? The fucking flame Atronach ran away. <laughs> Why did it run away?
Ah. I'm getting hit by nothing. Look. This is really dumb. Healing. Why is my Atronach running away? It's running away and not attacking. This is fucked up. This fight is fucked up. Right? I killed one. gonna kill it. I'm gonna run out of fucking magicka. I have no magic potions, do I? Ugh. I'm not gonna be able to do this. I don't have any way to get magicka back. There was a super chat? I didn't even see the super chat. So... Oh, okay. I'll ban him. I didn't see it. There you go. Can you summon the ghost and the flame thing? I don't know. And I don't have any way to get Magicka back right now. Look. I have nothing left. It's all health. Health and stamina. No Magicka. The only ones that are Magicka don't restore it. They just increase your meter. So I'm fucked. Pretty bone. I'm pretty bone. Save, I already saved before this second fight. I already killed the first one.
guess what I could do? I could use healing items while he fights it. Wow, this is nothing. It's like nothing. No health at all. There. Fuck, look at my health! It still went down again! Fuck you! Are you fucking shitting me? This isn't gonna help. I, now I can't heal. Whenever the boss casts the bees, I get fucked up. Insane. Nathan Smith in the super chat says, Is Jasper related to Dumas from Dark Souls? No, he is not. He's a cat, a Khajiit. So, no relation to Dumas. Sorry. <laughs> but thank you, Nathan, for the super chat. Good to see you. Oh, this is ridiculous. This better be the last one in the cave, too. If this is the third one. I'm going to be very angry. I have no nothing. No, it's just increasing my health. It's not healing. Yeah. Whoosh, bro. Zombie died, and I have no magic up. Oh my god. I, I have nothing. I have no potions I can use. I'm fucked. I don't have any weapons. Ice spikes or sparks, no fire. The flame Atronach hurts her, but dies fast. The zombie barely does any damage. <sighs> uh. 
She does the fucking bees. I'm dead. It's bullshit. Why are the bees so fucking overpowered? What is this fucking horse shit? Look at the bees. Fucking bees! I have nothing to restore Magicka. I'm fucked again. Fuck you! Christ! So what's in here? <laughs> I don't even know what's in here! Battle looks as if you can beat this dungeon, there's nothing you can't beat. I don't even know what I'm here for. I just stumbled in here randomly. No! No! No, no! Fuck this. I'm on. Fuck this. Fuck this. There's a fucking third one. Fuck that, man. No. <laughs> no. Oh my god. That was absolutely fucking ridiculous. Holy shit. Now I have no potions to restore anything. Jade says, what's my favorite Power Rangers? This was Dino Thunder in old school. Probably the original, because I only watched two or three seasons of it, and then I never watched it ever again. I know there's a zillion seasons. Ugh, fuck all that, man. That is ridiculous bullshit. What a bunch of... Cockamamie. Bumblefuck. Nonsense. Why is there there's a, a thing to sleep there? <clears throat> Fuck that. Time to bounce. Oh. <laughs> it whooped my ass. Those things are insane. Those gotta be high level enemies for later or something. There's no way I'm supposed to be doing that now. That's just out of control. <clears throat> building over here. What is this? <laughs> Angie's camp. Who the fuck is Angie? I don't know, but I hope Angie doesn't care about any of this stuff. I'm about to take it all. Oh. Archery increased. That's exactly what I wanted. And now I leveled up. Nice. Well, that worked out nicely. Oh, you're Angie. I 
Probably should have talked to them before I went to their house and started looting shit, huh? Woo! Alright, I'll see you guys for Halo tonight, Guts of Kagame. Sounds good. I'm gonna go with more stamina again. Because I keep running out. And now with the archery. Bows do 20% more damage? Yes. And that'll unlock new stuff. Okay. Woo! Angel says, if you re-enter the cave, do those spriggans respawn? I don't know, and I don't care. I'm not going in there. Name's Hanji. And if you try anything stupid, I won't hesitate to put an arrow in your head. Calm down, I'm not gonna hurt you. Sorry, uh. a girl can't be too careful out here. Like I said, name's Anji, and I've been living out here for a couple of years now. Why well, I live out here by yourself? I moved here from Helgen after my family was killed. Oh, that's sad. At the time, I couldn't stand to be around anyone. They all felt sorry for me, and I didn't want them to. It was my problem, not theirs. Hmm. Who killed your family? She literally just said, I don't want anyone to feel sorry for me, and they give you a dialogue option, I'm sorry. Who killed your family? Two Imperial drunks who thought they were above the law. Want me to take care of them? Already did. Oh. Part of the reason I'm living out here now. Thanks for offering, though. She got her revenge. What are the targets for? I set up those targets a long time ago. I shoot at them from time to time. Don't want to get rusty with my bow. Are you any good with your bow? That I am. Do you know how to use one? Oh, is she a trainer? No, not really. Well, let me know if you ever want to practice. Ah! You need a bow. There's one on the rack to the left of the door. I'm ready for some practice. Excellent. Follow me to the targets and we'll begin. An archery challenge, perhaps? Okay. My father was rarely home, so it was my mother who actually taught me how to use a bow. The bow fell. <laughs> she knocked it off. So she has a little archery range here we can try out. Where are the targets? I don't see any targets. What are they talking about? Oh, now I see a target. She always said composure was the key to a successful archer. If you can remain calm, even in the midst of chaos, your arrow will most likely find its target. Okay, let's see what you can do. That's what Remember I'm doing. Remember to stay within the boundaries and only use the practice arrows. I have some if you don't have any. Oh. Aim for the midden target. Only use the practice arrows. Where are practice arrows? Do I have practice arrows? Hold on a second. I need practice arrows. Try and hit the middle Here target. Here you go. Here you go. Okay. No arrows equipped. How do you equip the arrows? Uh, practice arrows. There we go. Okay. Nice shot. Right on target. Cool. Now hit the target to the left. Now hit the target to the right. Nice shot. Right on target. I get archery level up every Let time. Me know if you want to practice some more. Next time we'll make it a little more challenging. Yeah, I do. I want to level up more. Excellent. Follow me to the targets and we'll begin. I'm getting bonus levels here. Why wouldn't I want to do this? Okay. My older brother took me out hunting a lot when I was little. This is what I'm trying to level right now, too, so... <laughs> at the time, it was difficult to keep food on the table, let alone have enough left over to sell at the market. Is this new? I wonder if this so is a new quest. Whenever we across more than one deer in a single location, it was imperative we kill as many as we could. If you can learn to keep your composure... Oh, there's and trust further targets out there. I can't even see. See how far that one out is able out there? To quickly handle multiple targets. No, this is from the base game. Okay. When I tell you to... Try and hit each of the three closest targets in eight seconds. Eight seconds. Okay. 
I'll count to three and then say go. All right. You have eight seconds to hit each of the three targets. Oh, excuse Draw me. Draw string and get ready. One, two, three. Go. Hey, watch it. You did it. All three targets in eight seconds. Nice job. Let me know if you want to practice some more. Nice. Next time we'll make it a little more challenging. I need more practice arrows. Great job hitting those targets. Here you go. Okay. Even more. Excellent. Follow me to the targets and we'll begin. Leveling up. This is good. I like, hey, give me bonus levels, man. We've talked about speed and composure. Now we'll go over precision. Why does I only have two? She gave me eight. Wait a minute, what? It says she gave me eight. What the fuck? Oftentimes you won't be able to get as close to your prey as you'd like. That was a glitch. A Visual glitch. A long shot. <clears throat> However, with such a long shot, it's more than likely that's the only shot you'll be hmm? able to take before your prey runs off. Extreme long shot. If you find yourself in such a situation, then you need to make your shot count. I don't even see the don't target out there shot. anymore. Crouch down. Get comfortable. Crouch down. Take a. <laughs> See you okay, tonight, Jade. Your turn. Try and hit the target way in the back, far behind the other three. I didn't. See, I can't Remember see it. Take your time and make your shot count. Where the fuck is it? Oh my god! Look how hard that is to see. I have to hit that target. I can't even see it. Oh my god, I seriously can't see it from here. Where is it? Oh, I see it now. Now I can see it. It's right there. Okay. Keep your... Try and hit the far target. Okay. Shoot the far... No. Fuck. I'm never gonna be able to hit it. never gonna be able to hit this thing. Little Crow X Gaming did a super chat. So I wasn't gonna donate, but then I took an arrow to the knee. <laughs> Thank you. I don't think I can hit it. It's too far away, and there's no zoom with this bow. So I don't think I can hit it. She keeps saying, hey, watch it. What the fuck? I can't even see it anymore. I lost it. I think this is it here. I can't tell anymore. <laughs> I seriously can't see it. You eventually get zoomed from a perk in the perk tree. Oh. I think this is it here. Right on target. I did it. Let me know if you want to practice some more. Holy shit. This time will make it a little more challenging. This is hard. So I got I do I want the zoom. I certainly want the zoom. Yeah. I'm ready for more. Excellent. <laughs> Follow me to the targets and we'll begin. See you tonight, Jade for Halo. Sounds good, man. This is crazy. We talked about composure, speed and precision. Now it's time to use all three at once. I'm warning you now, this challenge will be quite difficult. Just remember everything I've taught you, and you should be able to complete it. There's the target. It may out take there. you a couple of tries, but that's what practice is all about. Okay. <clears throat> when I tell you to, try and hit all four targets in ten seconds. Oh my god, forget Here, it. Please. Looks like you're running low. There's no way I'm doing this. I'll count to three and There's then no way. Go. You have ten seconds to hit each of the four targets. Draw a string and get ready. One, two, three. Go! Be careful. Up. 
Better luck next time. Fuck. Thank you, Squirrel, for the super chat. So how screwed would you be if lying made your pants get on fire? I wouldn't be too screwed, but as you guys know, it, for me, it's more like... It's more like omission than anything else, because I can't tell you guys everything, because if I did, people would use stuff to hurt me and my family. So sometimes I tell you, like, half a story or whatever, you know. Usually I'm not outright lying or anything. <clears throat> well, that was fun, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do that, that last one until I have a Zoom. And I don't have a Zoom. So maybe I'll come back here later when I have the Zoom capability. But for now, I think uh, that is the limits of what I can pull off. So, okay. It was a good diversion, right? It's a good diversion. Let's quick save. I guess we head down the mountain now. Let's try to find this caravan. Is there a way to descend the mountain and not die? Uh, hmm. I guess we just have to do it slowly and carefully. The far target is so hard to even see. Oh, look at that. Wait a minute. There's a glitched arrow above it. Look. And then here's the arrows I hit it with. So I actually did hit it multiple times. Hmm. Okay. If you do it without the zoom, of course you can. It's fucking hard. Forget that. Forget that shit. Okay. Uh. Uh. I'm not liking looking like. Uh. Shit. I'm not liking this. We gotta be very careful here. Oh my god. We're like going straight down the mountain. <clears throat> oh fuck. Okay, at least we didn't take any damage. I think we're all right now. We're about to come upon something here. Look at this. What is this? Peaks Shade Tower. Get a look. Oh shit! No! Oh wait, it's a regular spriggan. This one's not nearly as bad. Okay. This one actually takes damage. Nice. At least this one is a normal fucking sprig and takes damage. Yeesh. What the hell was it protecting in here? Uh, a fucking bug. A bug? It was protecting bugs and harvest flowers. <laughs> really? Oh. Uh, the world's greatest treasure discovered. Oh, wait. There's a chest hidden in here. Gold ruby. Some fire arrows, ice arrows, and lightning arrows. Okay. At least I got something. I was like... Fighting the dude. There's nothing in here. Alright, at least I got something out of it. Oh. Save up. I can't. Game says no saving allowed. Now I can save. So the caravan's supposed to be right over here. Oh, here it is. We did finally arrive. No, I'm not going back to the cave. Stop that, 672. Stop that right now. Oh, God, they're all dead. Oh, man, they're long dead. Ah, oh, skeleton doesn't need that gold where it went. Whoa. Uh, read the letter. So, thank you, Christopher, for a super chat. He says, hope you have been well. I have been. Thank you, Christopher. All right, so, the reports are right. Wraith Guard and Sunder are singing, sending a signal out to anyone that might be listening. I don't know how, but I think I know why. The tools were only meant to be used on Numidium. It takes 
sense that it makes sense they would never be allowed to leave Morrowind. To ensure this, Car Kagrenai must have put in a failsafe system. If the tools were ever stolen, drones would be activated across Tamriel to recover them. The drones would then store the items in a vault until a tonal architect could fetch them. Unfortunately, as I suspected, the information was enough for some of the captains to betray us and change course. They no longer care about the artifacts or the job. They consider the cargo to be a death trap and are taking measures to unload it. I have no idea what they're talking about right now. Your caravan might think that they were carrying the tools, but Sadris and Halan swapped them before we ever got to Whiterun and intentionally gave them up to the retrieval drones. Fortunately, I managed to track the drones back to a vault near Winterhold, what the locals call the Sightless Pit. I've also discovered the vault can be opened with an attunement crystal, which I sent along with this letter. I'm a no warrior, so I dare not venture inside without you. Hopefully this message reaches your party in time, for I know we are of like mind. As a scholar, I want to see the artifacts delivered to my master, and you have always been someone who does not shirk his duty. I have faith that you and your crew can return north and repair this mistake, Velen. <clears throat> Pinocchio says, this is from the Morrowind story, is it now? Okay. And here's the attunement crystal. Okay. So what now? Enter the vault in the sightless pit. Where is the sightless pit? Oh my god. Well, that's pretty fucking far away. I don't think we're doing that at this point. Maybe later on as a side quest, but... I guess probably the best course of action now... Considering our relative location... Would be to go to Falkreath... And see what's going on at Falkreath. See if there's any missions or anything there. I think there's actually a mission or two to do there. Um... Yeah. Can we loot anything else in this caravan? Amethyst, gold, a petty soul gem, and a silver necklace. And a skeleton rolling about. Alright. Well, that's the end of that. Alright, so ladies and gentlemen. O OMG is drinking skooma says I think they're referencing a dwarven vault. Very nice. Let's go ahead and save up. That was a fun stream. I mean, did we really do anything advancement-wise? I mean, not really, to be honest. We didn't, but we did a lot of random shit. We found a lot of items. My bow is leveling up, which is excellent. Uh, obviously, I want to have archery skill to use a, as a ranged attack. And this, the summon bow is good. Now we have a flame atronach and zombies that I can summon, which is cool. So, good progress, I would say. Um... Yeah, now by the way, look where we are. There's actually a temple right over there. And I think I'll do that next. Here's the temple. We'll probably head over there and do the temple next. And then probably head to Falkreath. And uh, and see what's down at Falkreath. But, good stream. Good progress. Great support. Very fun. Everything today, great great open world stream of Skyrim as usual. Hope that you guys enjoyed it. Sorry for the technical difficulties. I don't know what happened there. And uh, thank you very much. Until next time. Which, by the way could be tomorrow. You guys are voting right now on the poll to determine what's going to be tomorrow, and Skyrim was in the lead, so we'll see what happens overnight, but good stuff. By the way, thank you to Anshing Forever for modding. Uh, thank you to everyone for your advice. A lot of people gave me advice today in the game, and I appreciate that. That interaction helps me, makes the playthrough more interesting, so awesome. Until next time, thank you very much.